Well, good morning, friends. We are getting closer to the weekend, and I'm kind of ready for it this week. <laughs> it's been a long one. Um, but the sunshine is out this morning. It's come to see me again. I thought it forgot where I lived. And um, hopefully we'll get a little break from the rain. I'm sitting here on the coast. And um, oh, let me see if I can give you a little peek. A little peek. And um, our coastline has been reshaped during these storms for sure. Like probably not in 45 or 50 years. Um, but this morning I woke up and I was highlighted by um, a little figurine that someone gave me a long time ago. And I just want to show you. And this little figurine has blessed me over and over and over again. I've used it for photo shoots. I've used it for women retreats. I've um, bought them for other friends who have been a blessing to me, who have been loving hearts and listening ears and warm hugs when I needed them throughout my life. And it, this is a token of reminding them of how precious they are to me. Um, it's by a... a um, company called Willow Tree, if you're interested, but this morning's little excerpt is on friendship. You know, the Lord didn't cause any of us to thrive alone. He gave us fellow pilgrims in the journey. The scriptures say even an, an inheritance in the saints who walk in the light. So we have fellow pilgrims on our journey that help us along, encourage us, cheer with us, cry with us, laugh with us. Kind of like the old army um, statement where they're like, you know, an army of one. Or um, we're a love army though, just for the record. Put down, your, put down your swords, put down your, you know, swords go and turn into plowshares, just for the record, my friends. Um, we're a love army. And the love army, we are disarmed by love. Yeah, <laughs> we're disarmed by love. So um, anyway, I just wanted to give you a minute this morning. I'm going to let you enjoy this beautiful view. And I'm just going to share with you some of the scriptures that have blessed me um, lately in regards to friendship. So um, friends encourage us. They encourage us to our higher good, which means that they're going to speak the truth in love when they need to. They're not just going to encourage us and smooth everything over and pretend like things didn't happen. Now they will forbear, just like the scriptures say, be kind, tender-hearted, forgiving, and forbearing. Wow, you know, we could take those four things to the bank every day. Like those things will strengthen every single relationship on so many different levels if we would just do what it says in that scripture. Be kind, tender-hearted, forgiving, and forbearing. So um, friends are going to encourage us to our higher good. They're going to continue to remind us what God's doing in our lives when we can't see it or we can't feel like or we're just disappointed or discouraged in an area or maybe there's doubt that we're trying to overcome. They're going to continue to remind us of who we are in God and what he's doing in our lives when we can't see it for ourselves. Um, friends are going to forgive each other and they're going to help each other in difficulties. Um, some of those scriptures you can read in Thessalonians 5.11, Colossians 3.13, Ecclesiastes 4.10. Friends speak well of one another, so my name would be safe on the lips of my friends. They're not going to be gossiping about me or putting me down or slandering my name. They're going to speak life over me, even in the most difficult, even when I'm, even on the day when I'm not so pretty and I don't smell so wonderful in my attitude. They're still speaking life because that's what friends do. So um, the other thing, is, and that's Proverbs 16, 28. Friends stick around even when things get difficult. They're reliable. Proverbs 18, 24. Friends give pleasant and sincere advice. Proverbs 27, 9 and Proverbs 12, 26. And friends honor each other. So respect is important. 
respect their free will to choose, which means sometimes you watch them make decisions that maybe aren't for their best. And it's hard to watch as a friend, but you don't cut them off. You walk with them and you wait for them and you pray for them, for God to reveal to them what they need to see so that they can continue moving in their highest good and in their greatest place of blessing and provision and um, excellence. So those are some thoughts this morning. I hope that you enjoyed a sneak peek of this little sunshine and ocean. And um, I hope that you enjoyed my willow, little willow tree. And I hope that you would take a moment this morning to tell your friends how grateful you are for them in your lives and what a blessing they've been to you. It can never be said enough. We need to encourage and build one another up and acknowledge every good thing that we see in this hour. So um, go have a great and glorious, love-filled and victorious day, my friends.